working as an independent sound and lighting technician. He was contracted by sound companies and other venues to run sound and lighting for all of their live shows. He chose a Golden West College and Temecula Stampede. Although he still had a love for music and having worked for many years in sound, he decided to move on and started to work with small businesses in managing and operations. One of the places he worked was a small mailbox and office supply store, and this is when he first became a notary public. He then moved on to working for Wells Fargo as a notary public in their home mortgage department. It was during that time that he decided to start his own traveling notary business. John has always understood that marketing is an important part of being a business owner, so he started to learn about blogging and social media marketing. He enjoys working on his blog and helping others with theirs as well. In addition, and in order to add another stream of income, John got his insurance license as appointed with Transamerica. The one thing John really loves is his experience with Toastmasters and how it's changed his life. He has been a member of Challenges Toastmasters for three years, and he serves on the board as a president. So, without further ado, please give a warm welcome to John Harrell. Money. You want very good at it? I expected more hands than that. I really did. I was going to talk about notary stuff, but I thought, would I have to tell you anything more important? And the notary does get sort of boring just about signing your name all day, because that's what I did at Wells Fargo. Less and less Americans actually save money. We find in other countries, people save more money there. Even for retirement, nobody is saving money. This hit me hard one day, believe it or not. I like to go out to dinner. And then a Friday night, I went out to dinner with my good friend. My good friend is an entrepreneur like you guys in the refrigeration company. And we were in a Mexican restaurant eating tacos. And I love eating tacos for Friday. And he was sitting there, and he looks up to me, and he goes, John, do you have retirement? And I said, Philip, no, I didn't have retirement. Not at all. And I go to him, Philip, do you have retirement? You know, you're a business guy, you should have all worked out. And he said, no, John, I don't have it either. More people are going to hit the age of 65 and they're not going to have any retirement at all. And we might even end up working at Walmart. You know, as one of those readers at an old age, I don't want to be there. So this really got me thinking, and this is actually how I got into doing this, because I started to think about my retirement, my future. Something else that came out of this, and I know we've heard uh, Chuck talk about it, is disability. As business owners, what would happen to you if you got injured? Now, I'm going to pick up my friend again, the refrigeration guy. I hope he doesn't hear this. He is a, a good friend of mine. He has that same problem. He has no employees. Nobody works for him. If he gets injured at his job, he's done. No cash flows coming in, nothing. He's done. His business is done. And one more part I want to add to this picture. So I'm going to put all these together. But one more part I want to add to this picture is long-term care. Not too many people have long-term care. Now, how many here have long-term care? Well, that's pretty good. You're, you're heading in the right direction. I know one guy, believe it or not, he has four different cancers. It, it's a rarity. That rarely ever happens. And then well, he could use long care, but he doesn't have it. So his family are struggling financially trying to get through this cancer. And I had another friend. This is actually an interesting story. I'd love to hear him get this story. He got hit by one of those big earth movers. Have you guys seen those? They like will move mountains. He actually got ran over by one and survived. Yeah, isn't that amazing? He, so he has long hair for the rest of his life. So you never know in life what's, what is going to throw down your seat. You have to be ready. 
Now, I'm going to put this, I'm going to reveal this. You can get bundled up all of this, this new savings, long term care, disability, and life insurance policies today. Not too many people know this. With life insurance, I have savings with my life insurance now, which is actually tax exempt. So I got a savings part to my life insurance, which gives me about 6% more than the bank. Then I have my disability. Off the value of that policy, I can take out between 50 and 75%. And then long term. Again, depending on the value of that life insurance policy, I can take up to, up to $9,600 a month. This is very unusual, very unique. That's why I felt like I had to talk about that today. Because not too many people have enough coverage even to carry their life insurance. So, I am with Transamerica, and I appointed with them just recently, where we're, we believe that no family should be left behind, nobody should be under coverage, and everybody should be saving money. So, come and talk to me. This is my new message. I'm really hitting this business hard, and I would like to see everybody have savings and retirement for their future. Thank you very much.